Hello there and welcome back to the Aqua Open Source YouTube channel. My name is Anis Ulis. I'm the Open Source Developer Advocate here at Aqua Security. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can convert different security scan reports with the Trivi CLI. First, we're going to generate scan reports of your image vulnerability scans and then we convert between different scan reports. I'm also going to show you how you can upload reports from Trivi into the GitHub Security tab. So we are here within the Trivi documentation. First of all, make sure that you have the latest version of Trivi installed for this feature to work. So if you type Trivi version, make sure that you're on version 0.43.1 at least. Now within the documentation, we can navigate over to docs. And if you scroll down to the configuration section, you will find different ways on how you can configure the Trivi security scans, as well as the reporting functionality. Here's an overview of the reporting functionality. You can generally re generate reports in the table format, JSON format, serif format. You can generate your own templates and you can generate SBOMs. Now we've already covered the different formats in one of our previous videos that's linked below in the description. So do check that out for further information. In this video, we are going to look at the new converting functionality. For this, you first have to create a new report, for example, a JSON report of a container image. So here we will perform a general Trivi container image vulnerability scan. We are going to generate it in the JSON format and we want to save the report in the output of a result.json file. Now, once we run the command, it's going to scan our container image for vulnerabilities and save the scan output in the result.json file. So if we look at our directory, we have here our result.json file. We can output the information in the result.json file and here's our scan report. Next, we can go ahead and we can convert our scan report into the Cyclone DX output, which is generally an SBOM format. Now, in this case, this is very useful because the JSON report is human readable, meaning you can skim through the scan report. You can look at the different security issues, different vulnerabilities in your container image versus the Cyclone DX report in the SBOM format of your different security scans is supposed to be machine readable. It's supposed to be stored in different systems and different dashboards. It's not supposed to be read by you as the operator of your resources of your system. Now in the same directory where our result.json file is, we can convert the result.json file into the Cyclone DX format, which is an SBOM standard. So we specify format. Trivi, convert and then format into Cyclone DX. The output should be a .cdx file and we want to pass in the resource our result.json file. Now in this case, it will produce a new file, our result.cdx file. If you look at our result.cdx file, we can see that it's not nicely displayed as our result.json file. Now the converting functionality is generally very useful if you have, for example, JSON files that are human readable and you want to convert them into SBOM format such as Cyclone DX and then store it in different systems, store it as part of your, for example, container image artifacts in your container image repository. In your GitHub repository, you could also set up a workflow through GitHub Actions, such as this workflow that produces a scan report and it uploads the serif report onto the GitHub security tab. Now this is provided in the Trivi GitHub action repository. You can see how to set up the Trivi uh, scan in your GitHub actions there, as well as how to upload the serif report to GitHub. Now going further to the security tab, we can then look at code scanning. And here we see the different issues that are found through the scan of Trivi. As always, if this video was useful, please give Trivi a star on GitHub. It would mean a lot to myself as well as to all of the contributors who make Trivi possible. Also, if you enjoyed this video and you want to make sure that other people see it as well, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for upcoming videos. All of the resources used within this video are linked below in the description. I hope to see you in one of our upcoming videos. Have an amazing day. Bye bye.